Look, the first thing we need to do in the context of this incredible species-defined challenge we face is to shift, to signal a shift to green economy transitions to a different way of doing business. That requires things like demonstration bonds, government announcements about programs, making it clear that the future planning in Hong Kong will be a greener rather than a browner option. That's the first part. The second part is to start bringing in plans for transforming Hong Kong City in a way that private finance can bring capital to bear to make the transition. That means bringing in water systems that are state-of-the-art. That means promoting energy-efficient buildings. We know, for example, that energy efficiency is not driven by consumer preference or corporations deciding to save money. It requires regulation. The Hong Kong government could be bringing in regulation about building standards, which is higher than now. It's not world class at the moment, it's middling class. Ambition in everything we do is now critical, but that ambition can be financed for private capital. Hong Kong is the home, the home of capital markets in East Asia. It could be using clear definitions of complying investments to promote those kinds of investments. It could be using government guarantee schemes for risky investments. It could be using public sector capital in public sector buildings. For example, do we know whether all of Hong Kong's public sector buildings are super efficient? They're not. It's a missed opportunity. Take it seriously, do it across the board, and then build Hong Kong as a green financial capital for the future of Asia.